module 9 resource assignment and resource leveling so this module is divided into two parts the very first part talks about how to assign the resources to the different tasks in the Microsoft project 2010 while in second part we will see how to label the resources so that they are evenly distributed over the period of the project so now let's begin with the very first part that is resource assignment now say for sake of simplicity and understanding we want to just assign a one resource named R so in order to add the resource we first of all require to go on to view in view you need to click over here on resource sheet once you click here it asks for the resource name we write over here R now type now in type of resource we can select whether it is a work whether it's material or whether it's cost now let's assume that this is a manpower so it would be considered as a work and we select work now if it's material we can write the detailed description of the material over here in this tab now initials you can initialize it in whatever form you want that is say R1 or R2 or just R and now here maximum this means how much maximum number of resource R we have it's denoted in percentage but it would be fine if we denote this in a decimal values rather than representing it in a percentage so to change this into decimal value you need to go to file options schedule and over here schedule show assignment unit as and change to this to decimal and click on ok so now we have it this as a decimal value now say we have maximum of 10 units of resource R and now here we have standard rate now you can see over here the standard rate it represented as rate per hour so if you want to change it per day you say the rate is 100 rupees so you type 100 slash D so it would convert it into per day mode so this is how you can add a resource as many resource as you want similarly you want other resource you may write it over here and fill the details accordingly now once we are done with this much we can go again to task and over here on a detail Gantt. now we can add a column named resource name over here you see it's currently blank so first of all we need to assign the resources to each and every task now to assign the resources you can directly add resource from over here but it's a little risky so I would suggest not to enter the resource directly over here to enter the resources you may go to more views over here and select task detail form over here this one so now in task detail form here we have the name of the task here we have the duration of the task and dates constraints any type of task WBS code and all other things present over here now so the very key point is always enter the tasks assign the resources to the tasks in task detail form point two note that effort driven is always deselected note effort driven is always deselected and the third very important point is task type should always be fixed to fixed duration because when we do any other function such as leveling or any thing or we play with some function with resources what it will do it it will alter the resource duration of the task which we don't want so always select fixed duration in this case now to the task a we want to assign the resource r and the unit is say 9 so doing this much press ok and next for b again we have resource r unit is say 3 and we need to change this to fixed duration and note effort driven is deselected next for C we have similarly 6 units change this to fixed duration and ok next for D we have 4 units fixed duration ok and next for E we have 8 fixed duration ok and next F 
resource r unit 7 fixed duration okay so here it's saying that it's allocate over allocation or something taking place so don't worry just press skip if this type of error occurs or just cancel it next for g we resource assign the resource r with units 2 changing into fixed duration and pressing ok cancel it next and for last that is activity h we have unit 1 fixed duration ok cancel it so now we are done now we can go back to the detail gain view and see the resources have been assigned over here and you can see the similar resources being displayed over here if it's not being displayed over here you can go to format and format bar and you can select it on the right portion of the bar and bring it over here so this is how to assign the resources in Microsoft Project 2010 so the key points in assignment of the resource is that you should always enter the resource from the task detail form number one number two is please ensure that always you have selected fixed duration also please ensure that you have not selected effort driven so these are the three main steps that you need to keep in mind while assignment of the resources now let's begin with the second part resource leveling resource leveling in project management is a technique used to examine unbalanced use of resources over time and for resolving over allocation or conflict of resources so basically in this file after you assign the resources you can see that there are small red marked symbol over here this indicates that the resources required for the task are more than that we have assigned so how to resolve this so it can be resolved with the way of resource leveling so first of all let's see what actually the problem is so we can see a resource graph to see a resource graph you may go on to view menu other views and a resource graph now here if it's not visible you can scroll or you can press next and you can see your resource over here so we have a graph for resource r red portion indicates it's over allocated on specific days while blue indicates that it's allocated while it may be underutilized too so if you look on to the whole cycle it's like this it's over allocated on some of these days while it's underutilized on some of these days so a manager would efficiently redistribute these tasks without affecting the duration of the project and that can be easily done with a resource leveling feature so let's see how we can do it so let's get back to detail again chart over here now you can see that we have slack available for some of these days for a b and e so delaying the prior activity would not affect the overall project cycle or project time so the one way to settle this issue is by using the slack so let's readjust these activities that some of the work can be carried out at other day thereby not affecting the entire project cycle so to do that you may go on to resource tab then go on to leveling options over here click on it always select an automatic mode when you are doing adjustment with available slack and over here just tick mark the first box that is level with only within available slack and click on level all just observe what happens over here and it would ask that cannot resolve over allocation of issue r and all that just press keep all now you can see the problem has been solved over here while problem still persists over these two places now let's understand this again with the help of resource graph view other views resource graph okay now you can see that initially these were underutilized points now they are highly utilized or fully utilized while only over allocation has been there on very small this portion of the week 
So this is how we can redistribute the resources and utilize them to the maximum level without affecting the project duration. Now getting back to the detail Gantt, now you can see the available slack is zero so that all the slack is consumed over here in order to balance the resources. Now still here you can see these two red markings which says the resources required more than allocated. So one thing is that you can increase the duration of the day if possible or reduce the demand for resources to complete that work. So this is all about resource leveling in Microsoft Project 2010.